In this video, we're going to instruct you on how to install 13mm C-Deck armor pads for your Yamaha VX Wave Runner. This installation video will apply to Yamaha VX Wave Runners from 2005 to 2016 model year. As you can see in these images, the finished product will look like this. Now that you know what yours will look like, let's get started. Before you get started, here are some items you're going to need to do a proper install. You'll need acetone, a clean rag, clear marine silicone, 3M Primer 94, and a sharp razor knife and tape. Step 1. Prep the hull. Pour acetone on a clean rag and wipe down the entire surface where your new C-Deck pads will be installed. Be sure to be thorough, especially on new wave runners, which may still have mold release or wax on the exterior of the hull. Step 2. Prime the hull. Using 3M Primer 94 and a clean rag, apply primer to the hull, particularly around the edges of where the C-Deck pads will be installed. This will help to prevent water intrusion underneath the mat. Step 3. Beginning with the port bow mat, peel back about 3 inches of the paper backing and place the mat along the front and side rub rails. Once you've stuck the front edge, begin removing paper approximately three to six inches at a time while aligning the bottom edge of the C-Deck pad with the rub rail. Don't press the upper portion down at this point. Wait until you're done aligning the bottom edge all the way to the end. Then starting from the front, begin to press in and upward to force any air bubbles out from behind the mat. Finish by pressing all the edges around the perimeter of the pad to lock out any water intrusion. Step 4. Next, locate the port side middle pad, noting that on the back side two relief channels have been machined to allow for adhesion over the curves of your wave runner. Align the pad with the edge of the bow pad and repeat the steps previously mentioned. Once you've pressed the bottom edges in place, then you can remove the paper backing on the upper parts of the pad and begin pressing the new pad in place. You should not have to stretch or tug these pads much, but if your pads don't seem to be aligning well, you can stretch a bit if necessary. Be careful to press in and upward in a stroking motion to press out any air bubbles that may be trapped behind the pad. Step 5. Locate the port stern pad and align the pad with the edge of the middle pad and repeat the steps previously mentioned. Once you've pressed the bottom edges in place, you can then remove the paper backing on the upper parts of the pad and begin pressing the new pad in place. You should not have to stretch or tug these pads much, but if your pads don't seem to be aligning well, you can stretch a bit if necessary. Be careful to press in and upward in a stroking motion to press out any air bubbles that may be trapped behind the pad. Step 6. Using a clear marine grade silicone, apply silicone to the lower edge of pads to add a moisture barrier which will extend the life of your C-Deck kit. To finish, dip your finger in a cup of water and then use your finger to smooth out the bead of silicone by sliding it down the seam from bow to stern. You may need to dip your finger in the water a few times during this step. Once you've finished, allow your silicone to dry according to the cure time listed on the canister before using the wave runner. Repeat these steps on the starboard side of the wave runner and the bow section if you've purchased the C-Deck bow armor. Well that about wraps it up today. We hope you enjoy your new CDAC kit. If there are any questions that you have about this installation process, please feel free to contact us through the website at jetskipilot.com or you can reach us by calling 850-867-1410.